The National League Rookie of the Year, Frank Robinson, accounted for 38 four-baggers in 1956 to tie a major league record for first-year men. Tebbets believes Robinson will develop into one of the game's greatest hitters. That brings up Frank Robinson. And Robbie wastes no time. There's a long drive deep to right center field. Blanchard sprints back, but the ball is into the bleachers for a three-run home run. Cincinnati fans take renewed hope and feel they're back in the game. Frank Robinson gets a warm reception from his teammates. I had 10 wonderful years at Cincinnati until a, the owner of the ball club saw fit to trade me. The media asked him for an explanation of why. And he said, because Frank Robinson is an old 30. He's over the hill. But I knew I wasn't over the hill. And I think that's what really turned me around as a player and as a person. I felt like, really, I had something to prove. Frank Robinson gets ready at the plate. Drysdale comes to a set position, and Frank rips into this one. Tommy Davis going back, but it's gone. It's in there for a home run. And here comes Frank Robinson. He's still spearheading the Orioles, just as he did during the season in pacing their pennant drive to become the first American League Triple Crown winner since Mickey Mantle. Drysdale fires that Robbie blasted deep to left. It's a home run. A tremendous drive of 410 feet. Frank heads for the bench and a hero's welcome from his mates as well as the fans. And the Orioles are the new world champions. The leaping player is joined by Frank Robinson and Russ Knight. This is Frank Robinson with the baby on her lap. There's a long belt in the deep center of Bowie. And that one is gone. He's got a drive deep to right field. That ball is going. It is gone. Oh, well, you can see that right elbow close to his body. He actually placed the ball in that direction, which is pretty good hitting. There's a high drive. Deep left, way up. That one is going and it is gone. A home run for Frank Robinson. Fly ball, well hit, deep left field. It is going to be the 500th home run of a brilliant major league career. He was a rookie of the year. He was a National League MVP. He was an American League MVP. And he's still the only player ever to win that award in both leagues. He won the Triple Crown in 1966, and he blazed a path for others when he became the first African-American manager in both the American and National Leagues. The legendary Hall of Famer, number 20, Frank Robinson.